Hello everybody. Uh, this one here, I'm going to show how to do a couple. There were a couple of uh, effects that we did in this to kind of clean things up. And uh, one of which was we've got this kind of cool drone shot that we wanted to use at the end here. Uh, as this plays away here, I'll show, I'll show the original, or I'll, I'll show the final edit here as this uh, backs out. Have this nice drone shot where you're backing up and seeing this whole entire uh, kind of crag mountainside here that uh, I did for kind of a finishing shot. So if I go back to the original here, original footage, and we play this back, Look at this as this plays and it starts zooming out. Notice one big difference is we've got the whole crew, the whole camera crew down here on the rock. And we kind of want to get rid of that. It's just so it is just basically the climber and the belayer here on the bottom with, all, with the, their equipment. And also, look at this. We've got, uh, if you look closely, we've got this uh, idiot jerk face that's sitting on the mountainside with a camera here and just contaminating the shot. We've got all these uh, jerks down here with their equipment contaminating the shot. When all we want is that we want to make it pretend like these guys were all alone and there were no cameras uh, so we want to have the climber and the belayer down here and that's it so what we're going to do is we're going to use 3d camera tracking inside of after effects to basically murder all these people over here and murder this big this big uh, jerk face on the wall right there so let's get started so if you're taking this out of a sequence right now i don't have this in my multicam sequence but i'd recommend grabbing this clip you can hold down alt drag it upwards to duplicate it. That way you've got the original shot here inside of Premiere if you don't want to embed it in an After Effects composition. And now I've got and I've got this one here on top that I'm going to send After Effects and embed it in an After Effects composition. Once again, you don't have to do this. I just do it for convenience sake just so I have the original footage left alone. So once again, hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, drag upwards while you're holding that button down, and let go. There we go. And we've duplicated uh, that clip. Now I'm going to right click on this top clip here and we're going to replace this top clip with an After Effects composition. Alright, so it pops up in After Effects here and I'm going to save this. I'm going to name this Murder All the Crew because we're murdering all the crew people and eliminating them from existence. Save that. And it opens it up in After Effects. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to use the 3D camera tracking to basically replace, to, to get rid of this down here. So I'm going to go up to these little arrows here and I'm going to say, let's show motion tracking. And I'm going to tell this to track the camera here, which is going to track this 3D camera space here and get it going. So I'm going to hit track camera. Okay, and this has started tracking now, so we got the camera tracker going. That's going to be a few minutes. So while that's going, what I'm going to do is go back to Premiere. I'm going to just click on that eyeball right there and turn that off for right now. I'm going to find a shot. What I'm going to do is I need to find a shot that's kind of close up as possible uh, to these people without them going out of the frame. Because so I'm going to create a Photoshop file. You could do this in After Effects, but it is so, it's something like this where you're trying to do, uh, where you're trying to eliminate people on a screen. You can use a content aware uh, portion of, uh, of Photoshop and you can make this a lot easier. So I'm going to find a portion of this shot here where we have everybody in the shot, but it's close up as possible so we're gonna so we won't be altering or messing with the resolution too much here. So let me play through this. And I'm looking at this bottom person right there, right where that bottom person is almost out of the shot there. So we get as close as we can right about there because we're going to take a shot out of here we're going to fix this up in photoshop and eliminate all these people and use that photoshop file inside of um inside of after effects so i'm going to take a picture of this we're going to hit this little picture item right there i'm going to use dpx because dpx is basically a lossless uh compression here i'm going to go to my name i'm just going to call this wall so i know it's the big wall here and hit browse put this into my drone footage here select and hit ok and it just exported out a dpx file of that of that uh still frame right there Okay, with Photoshop, I opened up Photoshop and I just went to File and Open and I opened up this uh, DPX file here. I'm going to go up to File and we're going to go Save As and I'm going to save this. Basically, the default here, it wants to save it as a Cineon file, which basically references uh, the DPX information. This keeps it as high quality as possible. Photoshop files work just fine, but uh, if you want to keep everything kind of lossless, you're going to do it as this uh, Cineon file here. I'm going to save that. And now this is basically reading as a Photoshop file, but it's going to be uh, something that can be accessed and used in After Effects. All right, let's start eliminating people here. Let's start murdering people off. So uh, I've got this dork on the wall here. I'm going to try that first. I'm going to go up to one of my selection tools here. I'm going to grab this little uh, polygon lasso tool here, and I'm going to move up to this guy. I'm going to hold down Alt and scroll up with my arrow pointed over this guy here. God, what a, what a jerk. Look at this. Can, ruining the shot. And I'm going to basically click, 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 and complete the circuit. And I'm going to right click on this layer here, and I'm going to go to fill. And we're going to say content aware is the method we're going to use. It's going to take all those pixels around this area and try to fill this in. Let's see how it does. Boom. Pretty good job here. I'm going to zoom out. 
and that guy is gone. You got some little fuzzies here if you want to. Another way of doing this, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you can actually grab a different portion of the rock and kind of move it in there. Nobody's going to notice this though. As it zooms out, it looks uh, pretty pretty good. It looks like it eliminated this guy. So I'm going to hit Control D or Command D on a Mac and eliminate that. So I'm going to move down here now and look at this area. Uh, by the way, you can hit H for your hand and you can kind of decide what portion of the image to look at here with Photoshop. I'm going to move down to this area and look at these guys. I'm going to hit V for my arrow tool, back to my selection tool here. <clears throat> and now we're going to start working on this. And let's see how the content, content aware handles this area down here. I'm going to select these guys down here. This is kind of a bigger area. Hopefully this works right there. And I'm going to right click and go to fill and we're going to do content aware and hit OK. And it actually did a pretty good job there. Filled it in. It looks a little kind of weird. It doesn't really blend in there. But once again, when we're zooming out, we're going to be looking at the person on the wall there. And it's actually going to... And nobody's going to notice that. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have eliminated all these people. So I just murdered that person. Let's murder another person here. Let's murder a drone operator. Goodbye. This is fun. Get rid of that backpack and so on till I get rid of everybody in the shot. So what I'm left with is this frame where this area has, this whole area has been all cleaned out. Everybody is off the wall. I'm gonna hit Control S and save that and close Photoshop. Okay, inside of After Effects here, let's see if our 3D camera tracking is done. It looks like it is finished. I'm gonna select uh, 3D camera tracker here and we've got all these points on here, a bunch of different points for our 3D camera tracking. I'm gonna move back to my project window and double click and import this uh, Cineon file here. If we look at this file, I'm going to double click on it, look at the look at the footage, and yep, it is that still image with everything eliminated there. I'm going to go back to my drone timeline here, and I'm going to kind of go out a little ways here, and we're going to find a place to start tracking. Because what we've got is we've got a few different kind of planes here. And uh, what we've got is we've got this ground plane, and this is kind of on an angle kind of pointed that way. It's kind of almost kind of flat ground uh, pointed this way. It actually starts kind of uh, lower here and gets up a little higher, then a little higher and a little higher. This is probably like a change in about like, I'm guessing about 12 feet of elevation from here to here. It's kind of on a slant. And then we've got this easy kind of plane here on the wall right there. So we're probably going to have to choose a couple different planes, a couple different uh, effects to get rid of all these items here. So, And at three different instances I'm going to get rid of is uh, this big group of people here, this person on the wall, and then these people laying down on the rock right there with another camera. So I've got this moved out a little way, and we're going to try to find this kind of plane right there. I'm going to go up to my effect controls, select my 3D camera tracker. It'll bring up all these points, and we're going to try to find kind of this uh, this plane right here. And look at the, the target. It looks like it's kind of laying down on a slant, so this might work pretty well here. I'm actually going to go up to my uh, target size and turn that down. It's kind of really big right now. So And try to find three points. And then I'm going to grab my track point size and bring that up so I can really see those those track tracking points. There we go. And I'm going to move my target down here and try to find kind of this plane that these people exist on, laying down flat. And that target looks like it's kind of laying down flat on that ground there. I'm going to right click and we're going to create a solid end camera here. And it puts down this kind of, a, a, it's a blue blanket right now. It kind of chooses a random color for every time you uh, create a, a new solid. So I'm going to use this solid here to replace. And look, it's got uh, the arrow pointing up, the z-axis pointing up this way. It's, so it's trying to kind of figure out how this plane exists right here. And it looks, it's trying to guess the angle of that ground right there based on those tracking points. Okay, and then I'm going to create a composition so I can replace this little area down here. I'm going to uh, grab my little wall here, and I'm going to create a new composition, and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to hit enter and rename this, and we'll call this bottom right. So I'm going to do three kind of different replacement areas here. So that one's called bottom right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to mask a little area for my bottom right here. Within this composition here, within my bottom right composition that I've created, I'm going to go up to my pen tool, and I'm going to kind of click in this area that I need to grab to replace those people. I'm going to click, and I'm going to click and drag so it kind of does a little bezier curve around this area, and that should be hopefully enough area to cover that. I'm going to uh, complete the circuit there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this kind of like its own big image here. I'm going to put this in the center and scale it up so it's like uh, this uh, composition is acting like its own kind of Photoshop file in a way. So I'm going to deselect that clip there, go up and hit, and hit my arrow. I'm going to grab this clip here, and I'm actually going to grab my pan behind tool, which is my anchor point, and move that to kind of the approximate center area of this port, this clip here. Hit V for my arrow, drag this up to the middle, hit S for scale, and zoom up to the, zoom this up so it kind of fills up the composition about right there. This was just, I'm zooming it up just so this makes it easier. It's not shoved down in this corner and we're trying to kind of match it. We're making this kind of like it's its own little file here. I'm going to go to the drone effect here, and I'm going to 
my drone effect composition, select my track solid, make sure this is selected. I'm gonna grab my bottom right here, and with that selected, I'm gonna drag this down, then hold down Alt or Option, and drop this off and it will replace that uh, that track solid there with this uh, this clip. Now what I gotta do is got I've gotta get this angle uh, right here. I'm gonna arrow this down here, I'm gonna go into transform and within the 3D camera space, I'm gonna mess with the X and Y rotation here and get this so it's looking more at the camera here. I'm gonna move that upwards, grab this rotation and grab it so it's kind of facing outwards and kind of get this so it's kind of matching the angle here of that rock as well. I'm gonna hit S for my scale, scale this down. So now it's kind of matching the angle there. I'm gonna have to kind of lay this down again though. And there we go. Now it's starting to kind of get into, get into the basic area. I'm gonna go back under my transform options here. We're gonna grab my position and move the. I'm gonna grab my X position here. Oops, that's why. I'm gonna grab my X position and move it over to the right a little bit, right about there. Grab my Y position and drag it down a little ways so it kind of gets into the same area, right about there. It looks like it's covering all the people. Let's do it. Mess with the rotation a little bit here. Kind of get it at the same angle. There we go. I'm going to grab my X rotation here and try to lay that down a little bit, change my Y, and just kind of mess with this to kind of get it in the same sort of angle. There we go. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to move this back to the beginning and play through it. I can see that this is kind of moving at a slightly different speed. I need to probably lay it down a little bit on a Z, Z rotation so it's up more on an angle. But this is looking pretty good here. We'll just get, it'll take some uh, fine tune cleaning up here. So I'm going to grab my grab the rotation on the x-axis and lay that down a little bit with the y and the z and there we go now that's looking pretty good that is staying that, that's staying pretty dang locked there so and we've eliminated those people we just have to blend it in a little bit and the way we can blend that in is i can double click on the bottom right thing clip here select the wall here and i'm going to go to the mask by hitting f go to the mask feather and i'm going to feather that mask a little bit i'm going to bring this bottom in here so it's not so hard edged let's bring that in a little bit and that's probably a little too much feather, so let's go Let's go in and look. There we go. Now it's feathering that off. Let's uh, decrease the feather a little bit. And let's go back to our composition and see what we've got. And there we go. And that's blending in pretty good. All right. We can grab that move it down a little bit until this guy starts to come in. Over to the right a little bit. And get rid of that guy. Just move it up and blend it in. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to repeat the process for the guy in the wall and the other people down there on the on the ground. Uh, so I'm going to grab this wall here. I'm going to put it into another composition. And we're going to call this one. I'm going to hit enter and rename this guy on wall. Actually, I'm going to change that because he can't ruin the shot. So we'll call it a jerk on the wall. There we go. Jerk. But that sounds kind of bad. All right. So we've got this uh, jerk on the wall there. And let's look at the approximate location where the guy is located. He is right about here. So I'm just going to kind of look at this line here that moves over. And then we see that person right there. So I'm just kind of using that as a reference to figure out where he is on the wall. I'm going to go back to the um, the jerk on the wall here. And it is this area right there. So I'm going to grab my, actually, we can do like a circle, ellipse tool, ellipse tool here. And just kind of circle this area there and create a mask for that region. I'm going to do kind of the same thing here where uh, let's deselect that clip, select it so it's got, gotten rid of the mask there. I'm going to grab my pan behind tool, put it right here in the middle, right about there. And uh, then I'm going to grab this clip, move it here to the middle, and we're going to hit S for scale and move and scale that up so we can really see what we're doing. And this, of course, is kind of low resolution because we've zoomed up on it. Go back to the drone window here. Now we're going to go to our effects controls, select our, um, our 3D camera track here on that clip and let's kind of get that plane this little area right here like a few little uh, pixels right there maybe let's try to get at the same angle that looks like it might be the same angle and i'm going to create a solid right there now i can go up and grab my jerk on the wall and with that track solid selected hold down alt and drop it on it you got to make sure that is selected there i'm going to hit s for scale right now i've got this in quarter resolution so the resolution is looking really bad and we're going to zoom in here and get that to where it kind of fills in. There we go. That looks pretty good. Little fixes here. We can probably just blend that in just by double clicking, going to hit F for our feather and feather that off a little bit. Just soften those pixels edges right there. Go back and there we go. And that blends in pretty well. Let's see how, if it tracks. It does. That jerk is gone and we're going to do the same thing to this person down here. So final step here. Let's do the same thing. Repeat the process. If you kind of get the process at this point, you can kind of skip the rest of the tutorial, but I'm just going to do this one more time. Going to grab that wall, drag it, and drop it onto a new comp. We'll call this one bottom left. I'm going to hold down Alt and scroll up, 
scroll up to uh, this portion down here, hit H for hand, move it around, and let's go to our little pen tool and kind of grab this area right there to replace those people. Let's grab kind of a big enough portion to get rid of them. There we go. Shift question mark to zoom out. Click in here to deselect. Select the item now, that layer. Grab my pan behind tool, move it there. Hit V for arrow, move this up here in the middle. Hit S for scale, zoom that up. F for feather, feather that in a little bit, and there we go. Go back to my main composition, select this bottom layer, go to my effect control, select the camera tracker, and let's see if we can find kind of an area right about there. It looks like it might be at the right angle. Mess around here, see if we can find right there. Uh, maybe that. Let's try that. Right click, do create a solid. There's my solid. Select my solid. Go to my project window with my uh, track solid selected. I'm going to grab my bottom left, hold down Alt or Option, drop it off on that track solid, hit S for scale, zoom that down, move that up a little bit there just to get rid of those people. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Looks like my uh, axis it needs to be kind of tilted along the X axis there. So let's just fine tune that. Go to my x-axis rotation and move that so it's laying down a little bit there. You can see the z-axis now pointing up so it's kind of matching the angle of the ground there. And that looks like perfect there. Okay, and there we go. And that's looking pretty good. On my bottom right, I notice like the drone pad here is, uh, is being revealed a little bit. So I'm going to hit my scale. Just scale that up a little bit and replace that and now bring it down my y-axis there a little bit right about there and there we go so there's the basic shot i uh, look pretty good everything's kind of blended out and i could have done a little bit more kind of effect work down here they did it a little bit better shape to kind of get some of the detail of the rock there but there you go that's a basic tutorial on how to eliminate or, or, or digitally murder people so they are are gone and taken out of your shot. And there we go. And we've got this kind of nice clean shot with just the climber and the blayer in the shot. And uh, looks amazing. So if you have any questions, post them. Thanks for watching.